The Hollywood Foreign Press is fighting back, and man, they're making Hollywood look stupid. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and as previously reported, the Golden Globes are canceled. NBC has pulled the plug on next year's Golden Globe ceremony. Tom Cruise gave back three of his Oscars, and a lot in Hollywood are refusing to participate in the ceremony or this organization of the Hollywood Foreign Press. However, I told you this fight was not yet over, and now the Hollywood Foreign Press, who are apparently reeling as NBC pulled the plug, uh, they are now fighting back and anonymously speaking to the trades, calling out the hypocrisy in Hollywood and it's joyous. All right, let's get through this. All right, so now the future of the so the Hollywood Foreign Press. This is the organization behind the Golden Globes, the ones that's the one that is up for question. the The Hollywood Foreign Press is not diverse enough, is what this this whole thing's about. Uh, and so apparently they've been known about this for months uh, due to all the the problems, and uh, they're frustrated because the infighting over how to reform and how to respond to its critics. Uh, but there g- continues to be genuine bafflement about how things escalated to this point, and they do have a point here. As because as I said, as well as the mounting anger that their club organization has become the focus of Hollywood's struggles over diversity. In their view, much of the criticism has been opportunistic. The most resonant detail from the Times report was the revelation that none of the Hollywood foreign press, nearly 90 members, are black. A fact which has been public information since at least 2013. Now, this is amazing because... They are acknowledging, and in fact, they go on to say they have known us for 30, 40 years, one member told us. How could this have just suddenly been a surprise? (laughs) I mean, I told you so. I told you so. Hollywood is totally trying to cover its ass, and whether it's because of the the, 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 the taking all the freebies, everything else they're doing, but they got they're gonna they got a comment on that too. I'm gonna get there in a second. But the fact that they are sort of acknowledging Hollywood, you knew. You've you've accepted our awards for 30, 40, 50 years. We've always been the same. You've known that our members didn't have any black members since 2013, and now we are their poster child of racism in Hollywood? Us? It gets even better. Uh, while many of the uh, members declined to comment, um, the organization's PR firm has been instructed to do, so, uh, to do an all-call members meeting on Monday afternoon. But the half dozen who did comment argue that the organization, which is made up of entertainment correspondents, many representing European outlets and some semi are fully retired, are being scapegoat for America's racial issues. Maybe as an organization, we were self-absorbed and not thinking about the political correctness and the climate in this country, said one member who asked not to be identified. We are not racist organization. This is a racist country pointing fingers at us now. And you saying you should have 13 percent black members. It's ridiculous. Several also noted that the coalition of over 100 pub- Hollywood publicity firms, which have led the charge against the Hollywood Foreign Press do not have particularly diverse staffs either. <laughs> yes, this is this to me is the most beautiful hypocrisy. All these, you know, when Disney put out all those, I don't know if you guys saw that press story where Disney leaked out uh, some stuff leaked out of Disney about their diversity training, and I, I, I just it was too complicated to get into it, but it was it was pretty crazy. Uh, but what's so funny about all the Disney diversity training? You look up the chain of command. Yeah, it's four old white guys who are really running the show over at Disney, and they're all doing this to save face because the old white guys are still in charge of everything, uh, and that's really what what this is about. At the end of the day, they're all just doing this to save face, um, and it's you know, it, I, look, of course, diversity is important, but to see these Hollywood, fir- you know, all these people in Hollywood sort of bend over backwards and and, and point wag their fingers at organizations like the Hollywood Foreign Press when their own companies aren't actually diverse enough. It's just so hypocritical. It's so frustrating to, to, to see, oh, we're better. You know, oh, yes, you must do better. Well, then start it yourself, publicity firms. Seriously, what the hell? Shame on the publicists. So hypocritical, the member said. Publicists group countered that the Hollywood Foreign Press members are avoiding the real issues, which go beyond the lack of black voters. They say the Hollywood Foreign Press has a long history of ignoring films and showing and shows from black creators and people of color, failing to show up to screenings and press conferences for critically acclaimed projects such as Girls Trip, Queen and Slim, and When They See Us. When they did show up, their clients were often subjected to lines of questioning that they felt were demeaning. Studios and publicity firms they have, they have urged Hollywood Foreign Press to make changes years ago, but those suggestions were ignored. Hollywood Foreign Press is clearly trying to deflect the real issue and their own responsibility. There's no defense against it or deflection from decades of systematic racism, sexism, and racial homophobia, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they've had far too long. No independent attempt at reform uh, sits in judgment of the cre- creative work of others and their membership historically opt- ex- uh, ex- opting out by, uh, by, by, by OPC 
uh, talent, making breaking careers in process and practicing egregious behavior, all while collecting millions of dollars for the globe. Now, look, there's a point here. A certain point, like, how do you not have a single black member in the Hollywood Foreign Press? It, it does look a little, it looks stupid, Hollywood Foreign Press. That's on you. You've had years to pay attention to the the, the, the climate of, of Hollywood. Uh, Hollywood has done it with the Hollywood so white, et cetera, or Oscars so white, etc. But I, I do love... Even the articles like the Publis Coalition did not divulge its own diversity statistics, but did acknowledge that the firms must take steps to hire more people of color and members of marginalized communities. <laughs> That's like the little subline. But that to me is the whole story right there. Like they're such hypocrites. It's so funny. They're out there. You know, this person who's calling out how you know racist the Hollywood Farm Press is doesn't practice what they're preaching. And then they, they acknowledge, yeah, well, we, you know, we can't show our diversity statistics. But, you know, yeah, we need to make more steps. Down. We, we need to do better ourselves. Yeah, but what's happening right now is that the Hollywood Foreign Press is just being destroyed. Uh, they go on at some point uh, uh, and, and talk about this. Um, and uh, they say here, uh, in, in, they, in this moment, every company must look inward or should be effectively make changes to level the playing field for all marginalized communities, says Cindy, chairman of uh, We Are Committed and actively involved in our own ranks to prioritize diversity. Many of us have robust initiatives in our way to address that. And some that said, we acknowledge that there is much work to be done in our own houses. This is an industry wide issue. And we looked, uh, da, da, da. here's another uh, company there, so, so acknowledging. Uh, Hollywood Foreign Press member argued that <coughs> the press is jumping on top of the Hollywood Foreign Press and you had fun doing it. Uh, you, she said the group could adapt at times if allowed to do so. You have to give it a chance. The local paper has to give it a chance when they have it, which they haven't. Give it a chance. I think we did something good. Uh, but what, what was interesting here is they go on. We have Chinese. We have Japanese. We have different things. We don't have people who are black skinned for a very simple reason, because nobody applied is what she says. Uh, and then apparently that's not true. There was like a, apparently a journalist here, a black reporter from the U.K., uh, reported in 2013 that she was denied uh, admission uh, and that uh, they're sort of saying, well, no, nobody gets the, the club is very uh, elite, whether it's racist. I don't know, but whether they do not let in, you know, outsiders in the club because they want to keep all the freebies to themselves. The more people in, the more you know, risky it gets that maybe someone else changes what's what's going on and they just haven't been paying attention the hollywood foreign press look i'm not here to defend the hollywood foreign press but i will back them up when they point out the hypocrisy of hollywood because hollywood absolutely knew um but what's uh, what i wanted to get to was this point of the fact that now you know these people are just people who worked in the hollywood foreign press are now like blacklisted anywhere because now it's like well now because the hollywood foreign press is this racist organization we can't have anything to do with you um and i think that's unfair uh, and, and uh, you know, all these uh, people from other, you know, countries, foreign countries, all, have, you know, I, I've suffered. And what is going on? Why are, now uh, they're worried their association with the Hollywood Foreign Press will hurt their professional careers. They noted that the publicity firms and studios that have once fallen over themselves to give them access to their clients in the hopes of securing Globe nominations are now unlikely to return their calls. One member also argued that the group was being made a scapegoat for systematic issue, issues in the industry and pushed back at suggesting that the Hollywood Foreign Press had shoddy ethic guidelines. Time story echoed uh, criticism that have been raised repeatedly over the years of the members accepting gifts from studios uh, and travel for studio sponsored junkets but this is this is this is true other journalists do the same thing member said most of us are good journalists but that's not how we're being written about in the press it's very unfair uh, many nor news organizations prohibit employees from accepting travel and gifts from companies they cover, but those restrictions don't apply to all outlets. However, people familiar with the Hollywood Foreign Press say that the group's members didn't just have a thirst for freebies and penchant for studio buffets. They had a habit of appearing unprepared. So this piece is also just trying to hit them. And uh, I, don't, I don't disagree. The go the, from what I've heard in my industry experience, the Globe's people are always unprofessional. Like, hey, who are you? Cool. Ah, are you famous? Can I get a picture? That's literally what it's like. One of those. I've seen them. I've been at a couple of them. Uh, and uh, but but the the reality is, you know, at the same time, it's true. I, when I worked at Screen Junkies, they flew me across the world to do stuff. They put me up. They give a lot of us. They don't, you know, make us review the film. Uh, but they clearly want us to promote the film. And when we promote a film, we do it. Now, that's the difference. A lot of these journalists are promoting a film. They're out there to do a story about it, so they want to send you out and see you. So it's, it's, it's not really the same thing as, hey, come vote for us. Hey, journalists who are going to vote for the awards, let me fly you out to Paris so you feel like Emily in Paris is better. That's kind of sketchy. It should just be based on the show. Uh, so while they're right to an extent... <coughs> um, it's not, it's not the same. You know, a journalist doing a story isn't the same as a journalist who's deciding your award and your win. You know what I mean? Uh, but overall, 
Uh, look, the Golden Globes, they're in trouble. Um, and so, yeah, they're not going to be there next year, but I wonder if this is... They, they seem to think, you know, someone else will take this show. Uh, you know, do you think anyone wouldn't be picked them up? Come on, no one's going to win if it disappears. <coughs> She's right about that. People like in Hollywood like to win. Uh, they want to continue to win those those trophies. Nothing... Nothing in Hollywood is better than getting another trophy. But I'll be interested to see uh, how long this takes uh, to fix. Is one year off enough? Will they have a big show-stopping, we're back and more diverse than ever with new members? Will anyone actually even care? Uh, who cares about these award shows anymore? It's not about the movies. They used to be about the glitz, the glamour, the movies. Now it's all about the, oh, uh, you're not doing this. You must do this. Uh, uh. I'm over the award shows, and I was a big fan. Uh, but tell me what you guys think. Hit me up on social media. You can also hit subscribe if you haven't already. Double check that you're subscribed. YouTube, uh, sadly, unsubscribes a lot of people. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below for the engagement. Appreciate all you guys. What do you guys think of this? Do you think the Golden Globes are dead? Will they come back? Leave your comments down below. And check out these videos. That's right. You can press them.